Hey, what's up, guys? Today, Samsung announced their new Galaxy S3 smartphone at an event in London today, and major specs include a 4.8 inch Pentel Super AMOLED display at 720p resolution, a 8 megapixel primary camera, and a 1.9 megapixel front facing camera with a 990 millisecond startup time. So, this camera will start up pretty fast and it have pretty much the best front facing camera that I have seen on the market at 1.9 megapixel. Now, it will also have a 16 or 32 gigabytes of storage with a 64 gigabytes coming soon with a micro SD expansion. So, this thing will have plenty of memory and storage, so you won't have to worry about needing more storage for this device because it is expandable. Now, we'll also have a large 2100 AH battery, so the battery will be pretty sized, but pretty big, but they didn't say how long the battery life on it, so we'd have to wait to see on that. It will have a global version of the device will that will have the new Exxon quad-core chip. The phone is going to be very thin at an 8.6 millimeter thickness, so is this a 1 millimeter thicker than the Galaxy S2 and the global version will also support a 21 megabyte HSPA plus speeds so they did say that the one in the United States will have 4G also they didn't say in the one in Japan they didn't say too much about other countries so we just have to wait to see on that too they also say that the front facing carriers will be able to monitor your eyes and maintain a bright display for continued viewing pleasure. So it seemed like they will always the camera the camera on the phone will always be watching so that seemed kind of creepy in my eyes. And it and it will have a touch with natural UX which they say is going to be an uh, Android skin that seemed to be a little better integrated with ice cream sandwich. So usually an uh, Android skin is not really that integrated into ice cream sandwich. It really mess up the whole Think of Android, so hopefully this won't really take out the good features of Android and really just be a nice skin. So with this skin, you get S Voice, which is like a Siri-like customizable voice recognition system that allows the phone to recognize the variety of commands at any time. So this basically is Siri. Nothing really changed. It's a different name. It will have S Beam, which is an enhanced version of the Android Beam system that launched in Android 4.0, and it will allow larger files to be transferred between phones. They said a one gigabyte file can be transferred within three minutes, which I think is incredible. It will have pop-up play that lets users watch a video anywhere on the screen while continuing to use other apps. So this is really just going to be picture in picture. And they say it'd be good for watching a video attachment without leaving an email. So I think that would be really cool. But hopefully it don't block the screen too much. So it is going to have a, like, hopefully the huge screen will be able to multitask. I don't like how they take an attack on this kind of multitasking. Now they say it is no word on the carrier so pricing. But the but we can guess that it'd be about one ninety nine because that's usually what smartphones come in at to compete with the iPhone. And they said Samsung says that the Europeans can look for the Galaxy S three to launch on May 29th and with a thirty two gigabyte model at VOD Fun exclusive. And other markets around the world will follow up after that. So and they did say that the four G version would be coming to North America and Japan in the summer. So the and they say the US will be seeing this phone in June. So Looking at all these specs, the phone do look incredible. It looks like it's gonna be one of the best phones on the market. So I just I'm just a little scared on the battery life. If the battery life is gonna be good, cause it's gonna have 4G quad core, and that really tags down the battery life. So we just have to see on that. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you like it. Leave a like below and leave a comments below. Tell me what you think about this new phone. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope to see you in the next one. All right, bye.